Hope y'all had a good week. Hope everybody good. Hope everybody can hear me well. And everything is great. Today, we got a really good show for you today. Today, we're going to talk about some things that you need to think about as you're building your website, as you're building your brand. And it's kind of the reason why the order in which I teach things, especially in the courses, is very important because your success, your ability to land and close a client, your ability to take a lead or a viewer or a visitor to your website and turn them into a lead and go from a lead to a client depends on how long it takes them to recognize the solution you provide. And those are that's that's what we're going to focus on today. That's what we're going to talk about today. That's what we're going to kind of focus on making sure you understand. Right. Before we do that, though, you know, we got to roll the graphics. What's good, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Ty. I am black by popular demand, even outside of the month of February. This channel was designed to teach you the business side of content creation. All my photographers and videographers that want to learn how to get that bag. You're tired of paying for cameras from your money from work. You want your camera to pay for the next camera. This is the place. If you want to learn how to make your girlfriends cup size a little bigger via Photoshop, this ain't the place. Sorry for you. You got to go somewhere else for that weird science type of stuff. But here it's all about the business. We teach you how to go ahead and get that back. This is what today's live is about and why it's so important that you are aware of this. You think of this, you're conscious of this. Get a stranger, have them go to your website and ask them to tell you about yourself, tell you about your brand, tell you about what you offer, what you do. Ask them, tell, ask somebody to just tell you about it. If they have a hard time, congratulations, you're doing something wrong, right? You got to make sure that your client understands the solution you provide, not just what you do. And a lot of us get that mixed up. A lot of people don't think of the solution. Like, am I showing the solution enough? Am I showing the solution? You want to make sure you do a great job at showing the solution. It's extremely important that your page talks about what you provide and not just what you sell, not just the service. We do, we do, we take pictures, we do headshots. No, we provide high level executive headshots that help you stand out in a sea of executives. We create product photography that helps your product reach people it wouldn't currently reach by providing excellent color accuracy, whatever. Whatever you do, your page needs to talk about that. Your page needs to display that. It doesn't need to be something that people have to figure out. They shouldn't have to scratch their head. They shouldn't have to ponder. Well, maybe kind of, sort of. It's a great chance that they do this. You don't want people to ever question your ability to do something. When they come to you, it, it should be it should be enough information so that that person can determine whether or not, hey, is it of value or is it not, right? People aren't giving you the money you want because they don't value you. They don't, they don't understand what you do in a way where it shows value. And that's the problem a lot of my content creators are having. You put stuff out there in your mind, you know what you can do, what you bring to the table, what you offer, what you think you're worth. And a lot of times, a lot of people base what they want to charge and their value off the money they've invested in gear. Nobody told you to go out and buy every camera you saw on YouTube. Nobody told you to go out and buy every camera you saw on the front page of Adorama and b &H. Nobody told you that you needed 12 lenses. Nobody told you that you needed four drones and 28 packs of LUTs. Nobody told you that. So I don't understand where you're getting your value from. Clients can't see that. Just like you don't care what GM invested in building a car. Nobody care about R&D. No client cares about research and development. You don't care what went into designing the iPhone. You care about what it does and how it can change your life. Attention photographers and filmmakers, you've been conditioned by your favorite YouTuber to think that blowing money on gear and a crappy portfolio site will bring you business. And that is complete BS. My name is Ty. I'm a former army combat photographer and the owner of a small production company that has worked with these big clients in the past. I created Flash Film Academy, an online platform designed to teach you the business side of the industry. 
focusing on helping you develop a consistent six-figure business designed to help you go from your current nine to five to doing what you love to do for a living with the gear you already have. We teach you everything from how to even start a business. What should I name my company? What should my colors be to where to find a consistent flow of high-end clients that are ready to buy now? Click the link below. Let's get started. So you need to make sure that your brand message is up front, right? Your brand message starts up front. Your value proposition starts up front. Two things, two right, left punches you need to have soon as your page loads, as soon as I am able to recognize what it is this, that the page is done loading, you need to have your value proposition slash brand message, and you need to have a demo reel that supports that. If you're saying we provide the best quality, blah, 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 and then your demo reel is just like pictures of stuff that has nothing to do with the brand message, you're confusing people. It's the same as somebody, uh, you on a date and a lady show up in a see-through shirt telling you how celibate she is. You're gonna be like, wait, what? You, are you, you for real, for real? And she just showing everything. She like, yeah. But <laughs> I'm super celibate. The you will be like, wait, what? Hold up. That may be a that may be a deep cut, but instantly you got what I was saying. Instantly, ladies, it's the same as a guy who on his dating profile he leaning on Bentleys and he got money up to his ear, and then he gets you on a date and he like, what you gonna order so I can do the math? You gonna order what lobster? Oh, that's gonna be fine soon. soon, soon. Uh, you gonna get ex you gonna get extra butter? How much is butter? Thirty five cent. Can we not get extra? Literally, it's the same. So keep that in mind. You know, it's just about perception, though, right? Your perception of a brand as a brand should favor the value proposition, right? I want my per. Listen, Lexus has a different perception than Kia, right? It isn't. It doesn't really even mean that their cars are better. You can probably get the same features in a Kia as you could in a, in a Lexus. Let's be real. Kia is making some really good cars right now, right? But their perception is not there. The perception is that Lexus is a higher quality brand than Kia. Companies spend a lot of money to build their perception. Kia got to fight you to spend 40 grand. You're not spending less than 40 grand when you walk in the door with Lexus because they've worked hard to design a brand that shows value, right? And clients know instantly that this is a, a luxury brand. They know instantly when you go to Lexus website, they tell you this is a luxury brand. You go to Mercedes website, the best driving machines, there's their reps all stand there like this. Even the short ones, they'd be like this. It tells you that you're, you're somewhere expensive. They want that feel. They're wearing suit jackets, right? Just like a restaurant, if a high-end restaurant wanted to just have a regular white dining area with nothing on it and still sell you the high-priced Mexican food or high-end Mexican food, they would. But they know if I hang a sombrero, if I put a guitar over here, if I put pictures of Mexico and beautiful landscapes and make the tables wooden with the... If I make sure your margaritas come out like this, if I make sure your fajitas are still sizzling when you bring them out, it's going to sell value. It's going to show more or it's going to give you more reasons as to why we are worth what we are worth. You as a content creator needs to think like that for your brand. That's why the little stuff is important. That's why I preach the shirts, the hats, the clipboards, the pens. Those are little ways you're showing value as a big company. That's why, you know, I get the ball caps and that's why you want to wrap your vehicle. That's why you want a decent business card. You want to make sure you have a lot of content on your site, not just for your portfolio, but to help the client choose your brand. If like if you if a client is thinking about working with you and you deliver a video portfolio, you got video on your portfolio, a video fact page, you got video testimonials, they get it. Imagine this. I want you to take this into account. I want you to think about this for a second. Imagine going into an Apple store, right? You're going to buy an Apple. You're like, yeah, I'm gonna buy an Apple. And they get ready to ring you up and it's on the Windows PC. 
What would you think about that? What would you like? Come on now. Like, let's be real. What would you think about that? That's how you look. Whenever you approach a client and you're not displaying what you do well, you're not displaying your ability to cre- to capture content, to tell your story. You're not displaying information on your proposal in video. My, my proposal has video. Anybody that got master course number one knows that my proposal has mad video. on. There's a reason why. So you want to make sure, and that's what I tell you all the time. Content is the only drug of choice where it's okay to get high off your own supply. I highly encourage it. Hey, thanks for watching the video. If you like content like this, click the link on the screen and go over to flashfilmacademy.com. We have a membership that will give you access to 300 plus hours of content designed to help you grow your business. That's all we talk about. Click that link, start your trial. We even have premium courses, contracts, and templates all for the business side of this industry. You can go somewhere else to learn how to take pretty pictures, but when you're ready to get that bag, when you're ready to do this for a living, that's where Flash Film Academy comes into play. All right.